Hello, my name is Peter McClurg and I'm a lecturer at Ayrshire College. I work in the Arts and Fashion Department and I predominantly teach um, NC, HNC and HND visual communication. I've been working at Ayrshire College for 23 years and uh, in that time um, there's one thing that's a constant and that is, that is change. Of course that reflects the industry that I'm training people to be in. An average day for me would be um, generally teaching the visual communication students. Visual communication is, um, is anything to do with getting complex messages across to, to people uh, through visual uh, representation. So in other words, it could be poster design, it could be designing logos or branding for companies, it could be illustrations for books, uh, design of web pages, animation, photography, and using all these disciplines, trying to uh, basically trying to um, uh, educate students in making people do things, either going to see a performance or buying something or choosing a company over another company. The most rewarding part of my job is uh, is when I feel like I've got it right. When I feel that the session I've been involved in has been successful in the sense that. I've felt that the students have enjoyed it, that they've learned something, that it's been uh, interesting for them rather than just a plain old lecture. And, um, and also uh, seeing students, um, the skills base increase and, um, and particularly at the end of the year, seeing them progress onto a level that they wanted to progress onto, I, f I feel then that that's particularly rewarding. Um, a lot of my job is to do with folio, creating folios for moving on to uh, higher education. And um, you know, if, if students get into that level, then obviously I've done my job properly and, it's, and everybody's happy all around. I like the college environment because uh, we are very lucky um, in this floor. This whole floor is all creative arts students and that could range from uh, my students, uh, the visual communication students, uh, and it grabbed the art and design students too, uh, drama students, media analysis students, uh, and sometimes music students. So it's it's one big creative uh, greenhouse, if you like. And the, the edges become blurred quite a lot as to um, the subjects that we teach and what rooms we work in. And so the students naturally feed off each other, as do the lecturers. So we inspire each other, hopefully and we can help each other out with projects and, and, and the like. So um, that's the thing I like particularly about it all. The other thing is we're very lucky with our management in the sense that we're, we're given a lot of autonomy in what we and how we arrange the classrooms and how we teach. I think the biggest challenge um, is probably um, a pastoral role for the students. One of my roles is guidance. And so it's all very well being able to teach this stuff but uh, there's all sorts of other things going on in, the, in, the, in a student's life. There's a lot of challenges that affect the student's attendance and their ability to concentrate in the class. And it's my job to make sure that I know the students as quickly as possible uh, so that I can spot any problems that might be occurring. Could be a simple thing that could be avoided. It's a simple uh, problem that could be uh, solved and that the college could help. So that's, that's, that's one of the, the, the major challenges for me is keeping an eye on all that stuff as well as doing the teaching. When I'm interviewing um, graphic students, the important thing is to is to uh, confirm that that's exactly what they want to do, uh, uh, rather than a more fine art approach. It's definitely commercial art that they want to get involved in. Uh, and really interviews, uh, the, the folio, we, we insist that the student brings work. And because um, it's important to see they've got some sort of skill. But after that, really, it's not the most important, it's not the be all and end all. If they've got some sort of skill uh, in that area, that's all very well. But I'm looking more towards uh, a commitment to the course, someone who's willing to commit, who'll attend, who'll uh, integrate with the other students, be able to work in groups, uh, and be able to take constructive criticism about their work. Uh, so we're looking for a student who's, um, who's got a positive attitude and I can see being on the course at the end, rather than someone who's tremendously talented but doesn't have the same commitment. My advice uh, for anyone who's considering a career in visual communication would be 
to start something like Ayrshire College, um, further education college, because we have got the the environment and the facilities where you can learn to grow as a designer and build up your skills. Uh, there's a lot of support here. Uh, the the environment's great. The um, the uh, facilities are good, and we can help you build a portfolio to move forward. Um, the, the disciplines we teach are graphic design and illustration, uh, photography, we even do some animation so it's, uh, it's, it's the whole package to make you into a rounded, more rounded designer. If you are interested, the best place to, to, to contact us is through the website, the Ayrshire College website, or just come into the building and, and, and ask to speak to any of the lecturers in the Visual Communications Department and we can put you uh, on the right course.